Hello, Tanse, Bojo, and good morning, everybody. I'm Dallas Arcan, and this is Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. This is my daily free Pow Wow exercise class, in which I do from the courtesy of my home, broadcasting to your home. For those of you that are tuning in for the first time, this is where we use Pow Wow style dancing for fitness and aerobics and just a simple, basic workout. And that's all it takes 20 to 30 minutes per day and it's an ongoing thing that I do daily um, not only for my mental health but for my physical health and also to keep in tune with uh, all of you and uh, see how you guys are doing and your physical health your mental health for those of you that have been sharing with me thank you so much with uh, your comments and all of your stories that you've been telling me it's been a really awesome experience seeing everybody and, and knowing that everybody is is doing well especially with uh, this program that I do every day it is for it is for everybody and it's for a good cause and, and it's totally free and I volunteer to do this every day it's a non-stop thing that I do and it's a it's an endless uh, relentless pursuit to stay in shape to stay healthy and that's all there is to it you know see I'm even working out while I'm talking so you can get one of these little things. These are good for to relieve stress, to strengthen your, your hands and all that. So these are good little things to have. Uh, every little bit counts. That's, that's kind of my whole point of this uh, exercise program. And that's what I do. So let's get started. Enough talk, a little bit more action. And uh, away we go. I will talk while I uh, am in action. So anyways, I'm going to... Uh, going to uh, let the uh, power music uh, take over. Uh, I'm going to let this song play out here because uh, it's, a, it's kind of like the, the end of the song and just so you know you hear the drums, you're on the dance floor ready to go. That's kind of like the powwow experience. A lot of times when you're a dancer you're waiting for it. Oh right on, thank you for the stars there uh, BX Blackhawk. Thank you so much. So thank you guys for sending stars. That's really good for us content creators. All right, we got some double beat. All right, so let's move our feet. And for double beat, old style beat, we wanna do a nice little march like this. A bounce and march, it's like a, like this. A bounce and a march. There we go. So now we're getting our feet moving, our body. Nice and coordinated. So switch from left to right. Oh, thank you so much, Roxanne. Send me some stars. Awesome. Thank you all so much. So now this is double beat. Really low impact, easy, easy workout. And that's what working out. Working out should be fun and shouldn't be a chore at all. This is what I love. I live for this. Every morning I get up. I'm very grateful for another day. Just like the trees outside, the trees teach us. The trees are like, thank you for another day. Hi, hi. Grateful for another day. Hoka. All right. Another beautiful day here out of Alexander First Nation. Hope it's uh, beautiful where you guys are. And uh, it's all there is to it. So thanks for joining me. And good morning, everybody. Welcome to Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. We're getting started now with some simple warm-up steps. Getting the lungs expanded, getting the heart rate going, everything, getting the brain in tune with the beat, and this is a great way to wake up in the mornings, you hit the ground running, and that's what we call the survival of the fittest, and in order to survive, you have to stay fit, because you never know when you gotta run, or, or uh, walk, uh, thousand miles or whatever you know staying healthy is way better and taking a proactive approach to your health is awesome all right so we're gonna flap our wings now get those shoulders warmed up so five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight That was a good warm up. My calves are already starting to burn just from that. And that's a really good workout plan. <laughs> okay, so we got our second song. Oh, thank you so much for the stars there. Vida Rose, dog skin, awesome. 
Okay, so let's get the uh, the knee lifts here. We're gonna activate those core muscles like that. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also, grab your weights if you got them. Grab some weights and dance with them. It'll give you that much more of a workout. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and switch. Switch, two, 
That was a great, that was a great warm up. So now we're gonna do some stretches now that we warmed up, established that little routine there. So yeah, how do you guys like my powwow, social distance powwow jacket? I love it, it's my favorite. And if you guys wanna order these types of jackets, they're very, very beautiful. I love the designs. They have floral designs in the fabric. That is like bomb, that is amazing. So definitely check out the Social Distance Pow Wow, go to their site, support them by buying some of their apparel and merchandise. Uh, I really love what uh, Whitney and the whole crew are doing down there. Awesome, all the dancers, all the singers, all the artisans, all the people that are contributing to that site. You guys are awesome. So thank you for keeping us all entertained and engaged. During these times, it's a great place, great platform to keep our culture going and alive and well. So thank you guys so much for your contributions. And remember, hit the like button on the social distance powwow. And those guys are amazing. So thanks again for social distance powwow and all the work you guys do. So anyways, uh, you guys, uh, let's get stretching. So we're stretching out the arms first. Always start from the top and work your way from the bottom to the top, to the top, to the bottom. And we're just loosening up the chest now and back muscles. And now really gonna do a, a stretch now. So this one is uh, you just let your, let your arm stay straight, pull it towards your chest and you should feel that on your tricep, shoulder area. You could even feel the circulation in your arm start to loosen up or, or uh, flow a little bit better. Just by doing that stretch, you can totally feel it. Uh, some people have told me, yeah, you can totally feel the, the uh, circulation change when you just do that little bit of a stretch there. All right, and then the next stretch we're gonna do, this one's for the upper back. So this one, you lock your fingers together. You try to pull them apart, but you don't actually pull them apart. And this creates a little bit of uh, resistance in the back of your shoulders. You should feel it stretch nicely in your upper back, shoulders. Just hold and give it a nice little twist and you'll feel it work its way down to your to your lower back, your lumbar, even your hips and knees, you can probably feel it, feel the resistance and the twist, and it's really good. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna stretch the neck muscles. This one's a very important one to stretch daily, and uh, this helps with the blood flow to your brain, you know, and it, it helps with the efficiency of having uh, an adequate amount of blood flow to your brain because your brain is basically the control center of your body and everything and all your organs and all that. So doing this stretch definitely helps things there. So I definitely recommend doing this stretch every day because your neck is really important. It holds your head. And to, in order to have a good head on your shoulders, you have to have a strong neck and good strong muscles to support that neck and healthy blood flow in the area too can potentially prevent the stroke in the future. So anyways, I'm just uh, sharing a few little life hacks and tips with you. So I've got a couple more stretches and then we're gonna go down to the, uh, the leg part. So this one, hands behind your head and uh, this one's fairly straightforward. Aim your elbow to your knee and hold. You should feel this stretch on uh, your rib cage and the your inner thigh. It's really good for that area for your stretching out the core, core muscles. Oh yeah, it feels good. I can feel it. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. You know that one song by the Weekend. I love that song by Daft Punk and Weekend. That's one of my favorite songs of theirs. Anyways, uh, what's your guys' favorite song? Hopefully it's my new single, Country Strong. <laughs> if you guys haven't checked it out yet, check it out, it's on my site. I've got YouTube music video that I made for it and it's available on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, a bunch of different platforms. But if you don't have those digital platforms, you can definitely listen to it for, for, for free on YouTube. So I've made it uh, readily available for everybody. And uh, you know, for me, it's not always about money, it's just, about the art first it's about delivering my services to basically 
and my gifts to make a world, make the world a better place, man. I think if enough of us did that, the world would be a better place, you know? Enough of that scamming business that's going online. You know, people call your phone and all that, and people send you links, and you click on them, and then all of a sudden you're hacked, and Jesus, man. I don't like that stuff, but, you know, I think, I think we, we just need to, you know, just pay attention to those things, ignore them, don't feed, don't feed that. We all got a monster to feed. We can either feed the good monster or the bad monster, you know. So, anyways, enough about that. So, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're enjoying the workouts that I'm doing. I certainly am. This is... This is definitely uh, enlightening and definitely the highlight to my days and helping my days go by so much better because of these workouts that we do here on a regular basis. It's it's what I, I live for every morning. It's what uh, it's my passion. It's my joy. It's something I love to do. And it's really simple and really fun and really easy. So anyways, uh, almost done the stretching now. So I'm going to go through the circuit, the six part circuit training and then we're going to do a couple more songs and then we're done that's it that's all we need for the day i on the other hand i, I do more working out besides this i uh you know I, I do physical activities around the house i work out uh i got weights in my gym downstairs that i lift from time to time every time i pass by them i make sure to do a set real quick or whatever you know so they're there you know because any imperfect action is better than taking no action whatsoever. So, just something to think about. Anyway, so we're going to go into this six part circuit. So the first one is mountain climbers. So you get into the into the push up uh, plank position and you just hold yourself and kick the knees up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, so those are the mountain climbers. I did it basically for 20 to 25 seconds. And the next <coughs> is the um, is the knee-high kicks. <coughs> Doing these knee-high kicks, they definitely engage your core muscles. And if you're not comfortable with doing the kick, like the, the basically kick up version. You could also do, do them just standing like this and that will make a tremendous difference on your workout plan. <clears throat> so I know not everybody's at the same fitness level. I know there's guys that could probably do it way better than I can, you know? Like seeing those personal trainers online, they can do it effortlessly. And for me, I still, still struggle. I, <laughs> This whole COVID diet has got me uh, <laughs> trying to keep all the pounds, if you know what I mean. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, that should be good enough. And remember, you repeat this circuit four times a day, and it's definitely going to make a difference in your abs. Uh, I've been losing weight like crazy, so it's definitely helping. I've been watching what I eat and consume and just having a good balanced diet. Got lots of vegetables here now. I'm gonna incorporate into the daily, daily dosage of vegetables. All right, so moving on now, going to uh, do the squat jumps is the next one. So the squat jumps, fairly simple. You squat down, jump up. Fairly simple. And you wanna do this for 20 to 25 seconds. And that's all you need for the set, for the rep. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. All right, 25 seconds. <laughs> That's a real butt burner. So 
First day I did those, holy crap, man, I was sore for like four days after. Uh, anyways, going to do the, uh, oh man, those really burn. And next couple weeks though, I'm gonna start jogging again. As soon as I move to a different place, moving to uh, British Columbia, going over there, then I'm gonna have to fight off res dogs while I'm jogging or worry about mud and obstacles and all kinds of stuff. It's the res, you know. So I used to jog all the time on the res, but I just got tired of having to fight off res dogs. There's always like a mean pack of dogs running around. People don't uh, take care or tie up their dogs or I wouldn't say tie up, you know. I don't like tying up dogs, but you should definitely build them a fence or some kind of enclosure, you know, if you're gonna have a pet like that. Don't let it run free and and breed and you know, there's just so much of a problem out here. Anyways, I'm ranting. I'm trying to procrastinate not doing these switch lunges. So anyways, back to the switch lunges, back to the program. I'm gonna do this for 25, 20 seconds. So I'll count, I'll count it in. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Oh man, those burn. Those burn the hamstrings, and they burn the thighs a little bit. So, anyways, moving on to the next portion. Two more, two more things to do. All right, so this one, I wanna lay on the floor, get into the mummy position, and cross your legs. This, step, this helps isolate just your abdominal area. We're gonna do 25. Normally I do 50, but just for uh, today's, or for the, the broadcast to try to keep it short. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. All right. <laughs> now hands to the floor, palms down, and now we're gonna do some some leg raises. So one, two, maybe slide your hands underneath your butt a little bit, like your thumbs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Oh, that's a good one. All right. That's pretty much the cycle or the circuit. <laughs> you do that six part. You could do that as many times as you want. My recommendation is to do it four times a day. You're going to see wicked results. So, anyways, continuing on. Yeah, I found some new ones too. Like, if you go like this, raise your hand, like, like you do in class, raise your hand up and then you kick your knee like this. This is good for exercising and burning fat. If you wanna get rid of the muffin top, this is a good one to do. You do like 20 of these on each side and it'll definitely help burn some of that excess fat around there. The spare tire, they say, I guess. So uh, I'm definitely burning a lot of fat these days too. All right, so we're gonna do two more songs just to finish it off. We'll do one peak performance where I'm going to uh, go and actually incorporate the hoop into this one instead of the weights. Because I like the hoop, it's very ergonomically friendly. So if you know ergonomics, uh, ergonomics is basically healthy practices and physical movement of the body. And when you work 
there's certain postures that you can use for proper ergonomics like your hands you want to be make sure you're seated at 90 degree angles and make sure that your hands ain't elevated because then your circulation kind of gets messed up or if you're doing like this all day that's not good you want to have proper posture for proper ergonomics and proper ergonomics too is like when you got to lift something use your, your knees pick them up like that and hold it close to your body like if you're carrying something don't drag it like this like that that'll hurt the back you want to hold it close to your body like this so whenever you're picking up like a box or something definitely want to tuck it in like this so pick it up tuck it in lift up and there you go that's proper ergonomics so that's what i mean by ergonomically friendly for working out and exercising it's amazing what you can do with the, the hoop for exercises so i'm going to go through some of those exercises with you and dances so i'm going to do one more quick song and then we'll do a cool down all right so here we go okay so this one's fairly easy then so if you don't have a hoop just follow along as best you can oh a curl up okay so i can do that so curl up is fairly easy you don't do one two step like this you're basically just doing hopping back and forth like that one two two three four one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight and switch Jumping through the hoops now. Okay, here we go. One, two. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I was just like jamming and having fun. Oh, that was a good one though. Crow hops. They're not my favorite to dance to. Anyways, we're just gonna cool down now. After that dance, do a nice uh, cool down exercise. Nice, easy, inner tribal step. This is what the step that all dancers pretty much do on inner tribals. So inner tribals is where they get all the drum groups around the circle. One at a time, each one of them gets their chance to sing a song. And the dancers, that's where we socialize and we visit. And we say, hey, what's up, bro? No, no, long time. Or hey, sister, long time. Long time no see, you know? So that's how we do things at powwow, and that's what I miss. Is going to powwows and you haven't seen a friend in a long time, like, oh hey, long time. I like your new outfit, bro. You, you do that yourself? That's amazing, you know? So there's a lot of dialogue like that that goes around powwow. There's powwow terminology too, and understanding the different uh, 
the different outfit pieces, the different protocols that they follow. So when they drop a feather, guess what? The powwow stops. They'll be like, oh no, feather down. So the arena director will go to where that feather is and they'll stand there with their stick or they'll put a hat on it or something. They'll put tobacco down or whatever. And they'll, they'll ask an elder to come and pick it up because there is a feather picking up ceremony. So that's what they'll stop. They'll stop a powwow just for that. There's only really a couple things that they'll stop a powwow for. Uh, one of them is uh, an eagle, like a real authentic eagle feather dropping to the ground. That's where they have to stop and honor it and pick it up. It's a very honorable ceremony that they follow. And the other thing that they do is uh, when a dancer goes and honors the drum and blows a whistle or puts a fan on the drum, they, they fan the drum, like they touch it with their fan. That's one of the highest honors a singing group can receive at powwows. So if they're singing in contests, well not really in contests, but in inner tribals mostly. So if they're singing a song and at the very end of that song on the last, on the fourth start, a dancer will usually clear away to the drum, blow their whistle or touch it with their fan. And then all of a sudden the drum has to go four more starts because they do four whistles or four fans. And that's really high honor to do. And usually um, every dancer that does that, they usually do it for a good reason. They do it for healing. They do it for honoring the drum, honoring a family member. And sometimes they do it in memorial of past ones, people that are mourning their loved ones. So anyways, I just wanted to share some powwow terminology with you and, you know, just share some of the stuff that I know and have experienced firsthand. And, you know, if you ever hear a whistle at the powwow, that's what's going on. If you're all wondering why, why there's like a channel to the drum from the dance circle, that's what the dancers do, eh? Like a bunch of dancers will back up that dancer and they'll all stand in the line on each side, making uh, a channel for that, for that dancer that's blowing the whistle to dance around and honor that drum. And then when the next whistle comes in, they dance in and they, they blow their whistle doot, 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 or they fan that drum. So anyways, that's this little powwow protocol I thought I would share with you, a little powwow knowledge. You know, I'm not, I don't mean any disrespect or to be uh, any type of disrespect to to that that wisdom. I'm just sharing that here with you just, just to strengthen the circle and help people understand what, what powwow culture is all about. So thanks again for joining me for another version of Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. You guys are awesome. You guys are like, I'm so amazed with all of you and, and your progress and what you're doing with, uh, you know, with your health. This is a proactive approach to, to uh, your health. And that's the only way to do it. You know, to take a proactive approach to all the ailments that, that ail us in life, like diabetes and all the diseases and sicknesses that are around us. The best thing you can do for yourself is dance. Dance is going to um, make your immune system that much more efficient and exercise, exercise those muscles. So yeah, thanks again. And also you can follow me on, uh, I'm on TikTok. So check me out on there. I got, I got a couple of uh, videos on there. So check me out there. You can find me there as well as I'm on Instagram. You find me 3X World Champion Hoop Dancer or just Dallas Arcan. Check me out on there. Uh, also my YouTube channel. We're definitely building that up and we're going to start to make some changes to that in the future and hopefully just broadcast from YouTube and, and all the channels at once. Hopefully <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, also, uh, you have my permission to share this video far and wide. So if you find this message of value, definitely share this and you don't need to ask me twice. I, I, I'm, it's, it's there for you guys to share it and use it uh, anytime you want. So yeah, other than that, uh, I wish you guys a beautiful, blessed day. Take care, and we'll see you again. I'll be back here tomorrow, same time, same thing. Just here to dance and uh, work out and have a little fun. All right, peace out.